this video we'll take a look at the workflow for creating multi sampled instruments in Logic. I will show you how to use auto sampler to capture sounds of your outboard instrument, and the process of mapping samples across a MIDI keyboard. There are multiple ways of creating sampler instrument. First let's talk about the easiest and fastest way of doing it. The auto sampler. On this track I have a hardware synthesizer with the sound I would like to sample. Now I'm going to add auto sampler to the audio effects slot in the channel strip. Here you can adjust the key range by dragging the edges of the sample note range. In this example I'll keep it simple and sample one octave. Next I can set the interval between sampled notes and semitones. For higher quality of sampling, keep this number smaller. Round robin will sample each note a few times for more natural sound. I don't think it will make any difference with this instrument, because each note trigger sounds more or less the same. Next I'll reset the sustain. All I need is a short trigger. And I'll keep only one velocity layer, because velocity doesn't affect the timbre of the sound on this synthesizer. I think at this point we are all set and ready to start sampling. Before you'll need to name the file and save it. Now I can close this plugin and move to a new track with the sampler. Next we need to locate the instrument file and load it into the sampler. To see if Logic correctly mapped the sounds, I'm going to enable a mapping window. As you can see the sounds are properly arranged across one octave and you can start playing it straight away with no editing involved. This is a quick and easy way to store your favorite patches from a hardware instrument. You could borrow a synthesizer for a few days and sample it. Or if you leave your studio, you can still access the sounds of your outboard gear on your laptop. Now let's talk about manual sampling. Let's say you have an acoustic instrument that can't be connected to your computer. In that case, you would have to use a microphone to record the sounds. For the purpose of this video, I use the handheld recorder and the kalimba to demonstrate how you can create your own instrument. If you don't have a mic, I think you could use your phone to record the sounds. Sometimes lower quality samples actually sound unique and interesting. I have already copied the audio from my recorder. Let's listen to it. Unlike synthesizers, acoustic instruments sound slightly different each time you play a note. That's why I decided to record each note twice, with a higher velocity and with a more gentle touch to it. In general, the more times you sample a note, the more natural your sampled instrument will sound after. There are different ways you can add those sounds to the sampler. Easiest way to simply right click on the audio and convert it. In this new window, I will create zones from transit markers and select sampler instrument. Logic created a new instrument track with a converted file. Let's open the sampler and talk about mapping. In the plugin you need to activate mapping and zones windows to continue working with samples. As you can see Logic arranged the sounds in order. So if I play C, I get the C note. And if I play C sharp, I can hear the second C note I recorded with lower velocity. You could try rearranging them by hand, but it's easy to use sampler's built in features. Let's try to add map using pitch detection. Now I can see that logic mapped sample based on their pitch and create a few layers above each piano note. We should have two velocity layers. Sometimes algorithm will detect a sound in between and recognize a note in it. We can remove it and fill the gap. Next I'll adjust the velocity value at which sample with higher volume will be triggered. You can see that the first sample is stretched across a few octaves. And if we play any note in that range, the same sound will be repeated. In some cases that would work, but I would like to avoid any artificial pitch changes and limit the range to one or two notes only. Now let's look at the far right side and see what we have in there. Algorithm detected pitch in the tail of the last note, and I think we can delete it. As you can see it's very easy to edit position of notes, stretch them and set ranges. Now let's scan through each note and look at the zone editor to make sure that we trigger correct samples and make any necessary changes to the playback. Next we can actually test the sounds and see if we need to edit it further.
I think everything is in order, and this instrument is ready to be played. Logic made sampling instruments very easy. Now anyone could build a custom library of unique sounds.